My name is Michel Menachekanyan, and I am the Director of Broadcast Operations at KCSN. My name is Yvonne Wolf, and I am the Business Manager for KCSN. Well, the station started in 1963, and it served a one-mile radius around campus. So we now serve you know, a much larger population area, millions of people in the coverage area. Full day at KCSN can be really fun. We have bands that come by and perform. Bands coming and going and people coming and going. This is definitely more relaxed atmosphere. And our satellite studios in the Westfield Mall in Topanga Canyon. And we have a studio there that is live from six o'clock in the morning until three in the afternoon. Usually we do two big events and they are kind of tied to our pledge drives. We do concerts, either they're gonna be in the VPAC or in Plaza del Sol, or we have also had them in different venues outside of the university. We have benefit concerts too. Having someone like Sting do a benefit concert for the station members, for instance, which he did on August 31st, that's something that happens maybe a couple of times in a year. Perks would be when we have our concerts. We always designate tickets for the students. Some of the events were just for students. We always try and keep the students involved. The way students can currently get involved is through doing an internship at the radio station. We take about three or four interns per semester, roughly, and they get to do kind of hands-on work in production and operations and just be involved in, in what we do day to day. The other way they can get involved is there is a formal connection between journalism and KCSN in that Journalism 315 and Journalism 395 are actually courses that journalism majors can take where they get to learn how to do copywriting and editing, doing interviewing for the KCSN news program that airs on latinalt.org. KCSN's nonprofit. Everything we do is non-commercial, which makes it really different as far as a rock station in Los Angeles because there aren't any. KCSN is the only one. We rely on member support. Having the listeners be more engaged in the radio station is really important so that if you had a ton of listeners but no members, you'd be missing out as a non-commercial radio station. So we're trying to always keep that up so that people donate $50, $100 to help the station because if nobody donated to the station, then the service wouldn't exist.